Blessed day everyone. Welcome to my channel Math with Mrs. O. I'm Ophelia Orate, a principal owner of a school, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. I taught in Philippine Science High School for 18 years and I was the head of the math unit for a time. Today we're going to have a video on Philippine Science High School Part 12. You can use this for your uh, review for Philippine Science High School, Manila Science High School, Quezon City Science High School, Marikina Science High School, Ateneo, La Salle, or in any other science high school. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click or hit the notification bell. Okay, let's start. Problem number one. What is the area of quadrilateral OFI if points O, F, I, E are the midpoints of the sides of square C, A, R, B? And C, A is equal to 4. So, uh, midpoints. Midpoints. When you say midpoint, it is the point right at the middle. So, therefore, the whole line segment or side is bisected or is divided into two. So, if that is the case, if CA here is equal to 4, that would mean CF must be 2, FA is also 2. Now, let us consider that CARB is a square. So, this would imply that AI is 2, IR is 2, this is 2, 2, 2, and 2. A square has equal sides. So, um, since we're asked to solve for the area of quadrilateral OFI, there are two ways. Huh? The first one is for you to get the area of the quadrilateral by using diagonal 1 diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 divided by 2. A diagonal is this, there. There, that's diagonal 1, this is diagonal 2. Now, how do we solve for this? Remember, F to A is 2, so this is 2. O, F to C is 2, so this must also be 2. 2, 2 is 4, this is also 4 because this whole thing is 4. So, therefore, diagonal 1 is 4, diagonal 2 is also 4, divided by 2, there. 4 divided by 2 gives you a 2, this gives you a 1. 4 times 2 is 8. So, the answer is 8, letter B. Now, there is another solution to this. In case you do not uh, remember that the area of a kite or a square here, this turns out to be a square or a kite. Is diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 divided by 2? You can now use the Pythagorean theorem. Take note of this. Um, if we have here FAI, we can solve for C here. Let us let FI be equal to C. In other words, we let me draw the triangle here. This is F, this is A, this is I. This is given to be 2, this is 2. How do we solve for small c here? You use the Pythagorean theorem. So we have here 2 squared plus 2 squared equals c squared. This is 4 plus 4 equals c squared. So this is 8 equals c squared. To solve for c, take the square root of both sides. So c square root of 8, there. If c square root of 8, this would mean that to get the area, you simply multiply c times c or c squared. So square root of 8 times square root of 8 is 8. So you get the same answer as this one. So the answer is really letter B, 8. Next problem, problem number 2. 
Use this figure for numbers 2 to 5. A circle with radius of 4, so the radius is 4, that would mean from here to here that is 4. So this is 4 also and 4 there. So this whole thing will be 8. So from here to here that will be 8. So this is 8, 8, 8 there, that's 8. So we have a square. This is also 8. A circle with radius 4, so 4, 4, that would be 8, is inscribed in a square as shown. So we have proven that this is really a square. 8, 8, 8, 8. What is the perimeter of the square? So perimeter of the square, 8 times 4. That will give you 32 cm. So the answer is letter C. Next problem, we still uh, use the, the same figure for number 3, there. It says here, what is the area of the circle? There. To get the area of a circle, remember, the formula is pi r squared. So this is now pi r, our r is given to be 4, right? So 4 squared. So this will give us pi times 16, or 16 pi cm squared. The answer is letter C. Next problem, problem number 4. So, in problem number 4, we still use the same figure. It says here, what is the area of the square? Remember, the, the radius a while ago was 4, so 4 plus 4 will give you an 8. So we have a square with a side length of 8. So the area of the square is side times side, or 8 times 8 is now 64 square centimeters. So the answer is letter D. Problem number 5. So we have here... Uh, what is the area of the shaded region? Uh, so, for the shaded region, so we will be having here uh, area of the shaded, this one, this one, area of the shaded. So we have the area of the square minus the whole square minus the area of the circle. So area of the square minus the area of the circle. So, it will be equal to the area of the square is 8 square or 64 minus the area of the circle is pi r squared, pi r squared or 16 pi. So we have 64 minus 16 pi. This whole quantity, its area, cm squared. Did you get that? Okay, so the correct answer is letter A. Now, next problem is problem number six. Jen is two years younger than Anne. So, if we have here Jen and then Anne here, okay, in the table, it says here, if Anne's present age is A, so Anne's age is A, Remember again, Jen is two years younger than Anne. So Jen must be A and minus two. Remember she she is two years younger, so you subtract two from Anne's age. If Anne's present age is A, go back there A, how do we represent Jen's age five years ago? So this is Jen now. So, Jen, five years ago, will be now, the age now, which is A minus 2, minus 5, which can be simplified as A minus 7. So, the correct answer is B. Let me give you exercises here so that uh, you will understand more. Like, for example, if you... You, you are now 
let's say 12 years old and you have a younger sister or younger sister ys is the younger sister now who is two years younger than you so your younger sister must be 12 minus 2 or 10 then uh, what will be your younger sister's age 10 years from now from now so your younger sister's age 10 years from now will be your age minus 2 which is 10 right plus 10 you add 10 what about your younger sister's age four years ago oh, so she is 12 minus 2 now or 10 right 10 minus 4 so four years ago she was six years old that's it then on okay oh so konwari 20 years old ka ngayon your younger sister now is 20 minus 2 or 18 considering your younger sister is 2 years younger than you huh? so 18 or 10 years from now your younger sister will be 18 plus 10 or 20 minus 2 plus 10 right 18 plus 10 four years ago your younger sister was 18 now minus four years ago 14 or using 20 that will be 20 minus 2 minus 4 or 20 minus 6 which end up to be 14 to which end up to be which ends up to be 14 there okay so therefore if this is your ex you you are ex now your youngest sister who is two years younger is now x minus two ten years from now your younger sister will be x minus two plus ten the age now plus 10 or x plus 10 minus 2 8 yeah. four years ago your younger sister's age was x minus 2 minus 4 or x minus 6 there okay problem number 7 if there are thrice as many seniors as juniors in the dance troupe, how many seniors are there if the dance troupe has 24 dancers in all? So, seniors equals three times the number of juniors. Uh, seniors, meaning the number of seniors is equal to three times the number of juniors. That's the meaning of thrice as many seniors as juniors. So now, you have here, if you let the number of juniors be x, okay? So, the number of seniors will be 3 times x. So, the number of seniors, which is 3 times x, plus the number of juniors, which is x, there, will be equal to a total of 24. It says here, how many seniors are there if the dance troupe has 24 dancers in all? So add this, you get 4x equals 24. Divide by 4 so that we can isolate x. So x is 6. Okay? x, remember, is the number of juniors. So times 3... 3x is the number of seniors, so 18. You get 18, the number of seniors here. So the correct answer here is letter B. Now, uh, how do you do this using arithmetic? Okay? Very simple. There, 
there are thrice as many seniors as juniors. So seniors will be three times or three counts. Juniors, you have one count. So you have a total of four counts. You have a total of 24 people. So 24 divided by four counts will be six per count. Six now will be the number of juniors. Three counts, so six times three will be the number of seniors. You will be getting 18. There, that's how you do it. Okay, thank you so much. Before we end, we always have to remember to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Don't forget, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you.